Halo, literally the only reason that anyone ever bought an Xbox and the game that helped it thrive for almost 19 years now. This is the new 1 12th scale Master Chief figure by 1000 Toys and I decided to pick this one up because I was really impressed with their Ludens figure. The packaging is pretty basic and comes in a window box display with an outside slip cover. And there's also an instruction sheet included for how to attach the weapons to the figure. This is the game that made me realize I'd be totally okay with a digital girlfriend. You all right? Never been better. You can't imagine a welcome. I think it is no surprise that the chime you hear when your shield is recharging was directly sampled for the sound that plays when tipping on Chatterbait. Seriously, that cannot be a coincidence. Prove me wrong. So here is a look at the accessories out of the box. He comes with four extra pairs of hands with different grips. And two gun holster clips, which I'll show how to attach those in a, in a little bit. There are dual pistols and the assault rifle. And also an energy sword. The figure itself is surprisingly light, but made out of solid quality materials. It's a, a mix between ABS plastic and a die cast inner frame. As much as I played the hell out of this game, it's a little surprising that this is my first collectible from the franchise, but outside of the Cortana statue from Weta, or Weta, however you say it, uh, which I couldn't afford, um, none of the merchandise has really appealed to me. There was a, a teaser from Sideshow a long time ago for a Cortana, Cortana statue based on Halo 4, but that one apparently fell through as there was never any follow-up. And that's a real shame, too, considering that Halo 4 had the, um, the most enhanced version of Cortana throughout the whole series. <laughs> I'm really curious to see what they'll do with her in Halo Infinite. I know they've already teased that she's going to make some kind of an appearance. So now I'll take a, a closer look at the figure um, here along with the articulation. Definitely a lot of nice little details the head is on a ball joint where he can 
look left to right and even move his head forward a little bit. And he looks down okay, but he can't really look up um, due to the armor restriction there. And the arms have, I, I mean, the, the overall figure has great articulation. Um, I mean, a thousand toys really knocks it out of the park with their articulation. And I think they, they redefine how figures are going to be made moving forward because this is, this is just phenomenal. Um, he's got a full bend on the elbow, you can see there, and he's got uh, a ball joint on the hand that can pop off if you're not too gentle with it. And uh, a shoulder, a little flap on the shoulder that moves up and down to get better articulation there. Um, full range on the torso, spins around either direction and bends forward and backwards really well. And this is another one, if you're not too gentle with it, you'll notice there's another ball joint there that pops right out of the socket, but easily, to, easily pops right back in. And great articulation on the knees, and he's also got some uh, flaps on the, on the knees there to get a wider range. And even on the hips, um, those move up and out of the way so that you can really get his leg up into it, like a knee position really easily. Then you'll notice that there's some um, removable hidden hidden peg hidden peg slots here. Uh, they're a little bit tricky to get out if you don't have long fingernails, but um, they do pop out. There's one on each leg, which is for the pistol holsters. And then he's also got two hidden um, compartments on the back there that also pop out. And those are for holding the assault rifle. And the assault rifle has a little peg that you can flip out to stick in there. So he can carry the assault rifle on his back if you prefer him to. And the feet, um, yet another hidden ball joint that pops out if you try to push it too hard. And I like that, that, you know, if you try to, a lot of figures, you, you, you try and push them, you don't really know how far they're going to go and you're worried about breaking them. But these ones just pop out and they're, they really easily just go right back in. Um, the foot also has that little clip-on accessory there that I almost lost that one actually, so it fell on the floor and I had to hunt for it. But he's got a little bit of toe movement there. Here he is in a action pose, just to give you an idea of what he looks like. Um, with all of his accessories attached and holding the energy sword. I just have him in a need position there. I think he poses really well. And balance-wise, he stands up great without a stand, um, very well balanced. Here he is just uh, standing straight. And here he is doing a kind of a side kick. 
So he balances even on one leg. And here he is doing a handstand or break dancing. <laughs> and I even got him to balance on one toe. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, okay, maybe not, but yeah, I pushed it a little too far. And then. Finally, here's just a, a closer look at some of the details on the armor. Um, overall, I think it's a, a fantastic figure. Um, I'm not sure if I'll play Halo Infinite because I'm, I'm not an Xbox person, um, but I'm certainly going to watch somebody play it on Twitch or stream it on YouTube, you know, one or the other. I'm definitely interested in looking at where that franchise is going. Um, just because I played, I, I played the hell out of Combat Evolved, uh, back in the day, so. Um, I guess apparently they do have some other Halo figures planned. I'm not sure which ones. I'm, I'm really hoping that they do a Cortana, uh, but we'll see what they end up doing with that. I'm not sure. But yeah, definitely looking forward to more figures from this company. They're, they're doing an outstanding job. So yeah. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.